Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about tinnitus, another mechanism of what causes it, okay? Um, now, the inner ear and the brain have no glycogen storage unit. In other words, both areas are dependent on the sugar in the blood, okay? So that's one thing. And when you have high levels of sugar and high levels of insulin, insulin really comes first and then high levels of sugar you become a diabetic, um, what happens, there's four um, areas of the body that get destroyed. One is the kidney, one is the brain, one is the heart, and one is the nervous system. That's why you get peripheral neuropathy, your fingers and your toes, you start getting uh, numbness and tingling, and then eventually um, it starts creating problems with the vascular system. So there's a whole series of things that happen. Um, so when you have high sugar, high insulin, what happens, uh, that tends to deplete nutrients in the tissues, specifically B vitamins, B1, okay, and then you start having all these symptoms, okay. Um, so there's a couple studies, I'm going to put a link down below, of the relationship between tinnitus, which is basically um, destruction of the nerves in the inner ear and creating this ringing sensation which drives people crazy. Um, I believe it's the, the high sugar that's causing destruction of the nerves. So um, if it's going to affect the brain, which it does, it's going to affect the inner ear as well. Uh, another study showed that 84% uh, of people with tinnitus had high levels of insulin, but they never check for insulin. Doctors never check for a uh, fasting insulin test. So if you have tinnitus, ask your doctor to test the insulin levels, okay, and see if it's high. Uh, so now, what do we do about it? I'm going to recommend doing two things. One is to go out and find a good source of a uh, fat-soluble B vitamin called benfotamine, okay? Benfotamine, you can get it online or at the health food store, but it is a, an amazing fat-soluble uh, vitamin that innervates the nerves to help heal the nerves from high sugar or, or high insulin, the damage from these two. Secondly, you need to do healthy ketosis and intermittent fasting. That's gonna ultimately correct this problem right here, so you can then restore it. But you definitely are going to need the benfotamine to actually speed up the process. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.